Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we uh, have any audio for this? Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Marilyn, and it's time for the noon edition of Welcome to My World. This is the 12th of October, and it is a Wednesday. So, how's everybody doing today? Uh, we've had a lot of people posting trades and <clears throat> charts in here this morning. Um, and that's always a good thing. Everybody learns from that. And nobody learns more than the than the person who is um, who's doing the posting. That's for sure. So if you haven't uh, gotten into the habit of doing that, um, it's very, very helpful because you get all kinds of uh, all kinds of tips and feedback and uh, the questions. Nobody's really uh, getting after you. What they're doing is is uh, trying to understand what you see, and many times you you're learning what they see, and it's basically a lot of times the same thing. You just you're just looking at it a different way. That's all. So everybody learns from that. And um, I hope I, I'll have the time here in the next couple, three weeks to get back to doing a lot more of that. I used to do it all the time, but uh, things kind of got away from me here. Anyway, this morning, these indices are not... Um, enormously promising but they they have given uh, a few trades you just had to practice peeing a lot and for those of you who who don't pee you need to put peeing at the top of your list of things to do every day while you're trading you need to plan your trades get very, very, very picky, picky, picky about those entries if you intend to get paid. That's the, that's the key to having profitability. So, pee a lot. Anyway, um, the dollar has been very strong this morning and uh, uh, crude oil has responded by selling off a little bit. That was a nice run and classic apex from the uh, settlement right on through the the red ice down to one of last week's. Um, I have started putting these these low volume uh, things off the histogram on my chart from the previous sessions and I find that a little bit easier to work with but um, when you see those real close together that's that's one of the bus drivers favorite places right there and the bus driver is right out at the edge of town so he's going to have to have a whole lot of passengers jumping on his bus to go on past that and Right now, it looks like the crude oil bus drivers just kind of fooling around right there at that um, at that level. Either that, or his bus broke down and he's fiddling around waiting for some some more passengers. That's for sure. It's also interesting to note on this crude oil chart. Um, I can't. I don't have the space to put. Uh, all the lower studies I'd like to on every single chart, so I kind of have to relegate them. But on this um, VAD chart, you notice this drop in uh, in volume right here. My goodness sakes! Expected volume was enormous, and it just never did get there. So anyway, the other thing that um, is noteworthy. Is that the uh, the 6C has sold off really hard today? So uh, it seems like their central bank is is stumbling around, and that uh, currency is responding. If you trade Nadex, 
and anything any of those pairs with the the yen in it um, you should have had a lot of movement on that we have the vix right now trading at uh, around 15.90 it was over 16 earlier uh i i've been real busy this morning and not able to uh, monitor that thing like i normally do but i did notice it was over 16 earlier when this thing rises um, we're likely to see a sell-off in these indices so that brings me to my next big point of the day if you are trading this afternoon be extremely careful at two o'clock the uh, fed minutes are going to be released now normally we don't really pay all that much attention about when the minutes it's when they make those announcements at, after their meeting that uh, you know and they mrs yellen starts yelling but uh, today there were three dissenting votes on holding the uh, interest rates where they are and so when these minutes are released uh, people are going to be able to see how close to getting a majority to raise the interest rates those three were if they were you know kind of out there on their own planet um, then that's one thing but if they had people that were sitting on the fence and oh I just can't quite go there then the indication is that before the end of the year they are likely to raise the interest rates and if you recall last December when they did that um, the indices sold off uh, it it was I mean it wasn't all at once but over um, several trading sessions that lasted oh two three weeks or so even four um, while it the the market expressed its extreme displeasure at that the current thinking is today clearly these indices are sitting here in a little tight uh, choppy -dee, choppy -dee, waiting to see what's going to happen but this downward pressure that we saw earlier this week uh, might have already priced some of this into the the works here so uh, but at two o'clock if you trade indices you better stand aside and wait until you get a clear clear signal or else um, go to demo for it that would be the safest way to see what happens so anyway we had uh, Brent uh, sold off a little bit this morning too but it's trying to recover and it looks like uh, crude oils trying to join that parade anyway tomorrow uh, oh and another thing if, if you trade the ZN there is a 10-year auction is at uh, 1 o'clock it's at 101 exactly but um, you can probably get the best uh, news for that if that's one of your markets that you normally trade off of um, financial juice and leave the audio on there because Amar will call that for you um, and let's see for tomorrow tomorrow's going to be kind of a busy news day we've got uh, at 8 30 is our standard claimed unemployment I just that number just never ceases to never ceases to amaze me where they come up with that nonsense um, however the uh, CAD will have uh, something and so the import pricing is also going to be up this um, uh, the answer to Janet Yellen for uh, 
the Bank of England will be speaking tomorrow too about 8:30. So if you trade anything with that uh, pound sterling pair, any of those crosses with pound sterling, you kind of want to be aware that he will start speaking at um, at 8:30. And I know there was a meeting today that he had with um, Angela Merkel in Germany. So they they're trying to I think some of their numbers are being massaged around to accommodate this uh, Brexit. Anyway, at uh, 10.30 will be Nat Gas, which it normally is on Thursday, and then tomorrow at 11 o'clock will be the crude oil inventories. If you trade ZB, tomorrow at 1 o'clock will be the 30-year note auction, the 30-year bond, long bond. So that tomorrow in the morning, bonds may not be the very best market you could uh, spend your time with because it's likely to be responding kind of like the indices are this morning, kind of a wait and see uh, how those things are going to be priced and, and what, um, what sort of volume they're going to have on those at that auction. So. I think that's about all I see for right now. Um, gold has had some nice trades, by the way. Many times when you can't get anything in indices, look at the commodities and vice versa. If you normally like to trade the commodities and you don't get anything, then look at the indices. There's always something, it's just every day isn't equal in all markets, depending on what's going on in the world. I, I thought bonds were worthless to try and trade today. I, you know, some people may have grabbed a few ticks off of them, but it just wasn't my, wasn't my 